Hi everyone, hope you enjoyed my other Excel videos. Today I'm going to take up the if function and also introduce another logical function called the and function. Over here I've set up uh, an example of a typical uh, abstract situation where uh, the use of if function would come up. Okay, so first of all, these this first column A is just a uh, count of uh, five observations I have here. The second column B is I've, I've labeled attribute A just to be really general. Uh, an attribute could be anything from a, from a, someone's age to uh, their race, their gender, um, or it could be a plethora of other things. In this case, I try to keep it really simple. An attribute A is a categorical attribute. Uh, it's text, so it's either yellow, it's a color, pink, red, or blue. Attribute B, on the other hand, it could be read as H, let's say, but it could just be any arbitrary number. In this case, the point here is that it's a number, and attribute A is categorical or text. Okay. So now, using these, this setup, we're going to do a couple if functions to get some results here that we might be interested in. Okay. So the first column here, I'm interested in is, observa is the observation red? So the way I can do this, of course I can just look and say, hey, it's not red, and write no here, right? But how about if you had thousands and thousands of lines of customer IDs or some other database you have to work through? In that case, you wouldn't want to go through line by line and manually decide. So in this case, the if function becomes extremely useful, and it's quite simple. So we start out by, like every function, with the equal sign. Type if, open parentheses. Now the syntax for the if function has three parts. Okay, the first part is the test. The test we want to do is we want to know if the observation is red. So we can click on the cell that contains that attribute. Okay, in our case, it's in cell B3. Okay. Then we want to see if that equals, and in quotes, we're going to write red. And you have to write anything that's in, any text you have to write in quotes. Okay? So that's the first part of the syntax. That's the logical test. Then you separate this with a comma, and the first thing you want to get, you want Excel, this function will do, is if the test is true, it will give you back some result of your choosing. In our case, we just wanted to say yes if it's red, and then comma, what do you want Excel to say if it's not true? In our case, if it's not red, and that we want no. Okay? So, you got to put the yes and the no, any text you have to put in quotes. That's uh, especially true in almost all functions in Excel, so keep that always in mind. If you get an error, it's probably because you didn't put the text in quotes. Okay, so basically to read this over once thoroughly and then to move a little quicker. If the first argument is the test, here we're testing if attribute A is red. If it is red, the second part of the function is, it tells us what to return if it is red. And in our case, we're just going to say yes if it's red. And then, comma, the third part is if it's not red, what do you want Excel to return? And what we want is for Excel to just say no. Okay. Now we can hit enter. And you see, obviously, we expected no, and we got no because it's yellow and not red. Now, just like every other function, if you type it in correctly, you can grab it from the bottom right corner and drag it down. And we expect to see a no here, a yes here, a yes here, and a no here because these are the only two red ones and so we got yes. So we see our function worked. Always good idea to look back on a sample of the, uh, of the cells you've dragged down to to see if your function is working properly. Okay, the second result we're looking for here is whether the observation is over 30. So we're talking about attribute A here. So again, we're going to test if C3 this time is greater than 30. That's the test. Notice I didn't use commas because it's not text. Now, 
again if it's greater than 30 we want Excel to return yes and if it's not greater than 30 we want it to return no okay and of course this guy's not over 30 so he gets no we drag it down and the two that are over 30 got a yes result and the other three which were not over 30 got no's as expected so the function is working properly okay now as a little preview to let me to maybe catapult you to more advanced logical statements I'm going to introduce the AND function okay so here the AND function very briefly I'm going to introduce it the AND function can do multiple tests so if we want to see if the observation is red and over 30 then we can use the AND function so you start it up by just typing equals and open parentheses and then it's just a series of tests separated by commas so the first test is going to be if b3 equals red just like we typed it for the test in column d comma if c3 is greater than 30 so if both of these things are true the and function will return true if one of them is false, the end function will return false. And in this case, it will return false because both of them were false. In the second case, it's false because even though it's over 30, it's not red. So both were not satisfied. In the third case, it's red, but it's not over 30. In the fourth case, it's red and it's over 30. And the last one, it's neither red nor over 30 so we get false okay I hope this was helpful introduction to logical statements if being the most popular but in also a little glimpse into more advanced uh, logical statements okay so be sure to check out my link below for my VLOOKUP video and subscribe to my channel comment like and share my videos until next time practice 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 and also let me know if there's any particular topics that you want me to cover. Alright, have a great day.